So here to talk to us about the report and our beauty sleep is Dr. Dieter Kunz, who is the head of a sleep research institute here in Berlin. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Kunz, in tomorrow today at the studio here. Um, now, do we even dream every night? Each and any one of our dreams every night that happens every 90 minutes during REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, and that is over two hours every night. So two hours every night I do actually dream, regardless of whether I remember it or not. Um, what about lucid dreaming then? Is that difficult to do? Well, lucid dreaming is simply that the brain is not just simply in REM sleep, but part of the brain is awake. So you are conscious of your dreams. That's the whole thing about it. And many of us do that when we are young, but when we shorten our sleep and we do not sleep that long, we are not uh, doing that anymore, but we're able to do this lucid dreaming, any one of us. So we're able to do it. Is it difficult to do? And what's the benefits of doing it anyway? Well, whether there's really a benefit, we do not know. We do know in post-traumatic stress disorder, that is something when you're traumatized uh, seriously, like you're, you're watching somebody die and you really see it, um, then you're traumatized and sometimes you have these rememberings, you get the visions back, flashbacks in your eyes, and that happens during uh, the day and that during uh, the dreams as well. And there, this lucid dreaming might work. In all the other instances, there's not really a need for the lucid dreaming as a technique. Now, you yourself uh, have your own clinic here. You're dealing with people who have sleeping uh, problems. What kind of problems do they have? And would you use this technique on them? Well, first, of all, there are two basic basic groups. We are not taking care of apnea and, and snoring, but we do take care of those people with non-restorative sleep. And the second big group is those that are active during sleep. That is sleepwalking, which is not a disorder as such, but there's no security in those people that are wandering around. But the big group there is those that act out their dreams. When you have your nightmares, it's kind of funny that you do not yell and do not fight. And that that is because you're paralyzed during REM sleep. And if this paralysis does not work anymore, if that does not work properly, then you act out your dream that start with talking about things that you might uh, not proud of uh, you're talking about, and then you start acting out. And it could be mm -hmm. that you actually fight with your partner, you jump out of bed, you play baseball, you <laughs> break your bones and whatever. These are the subjects that come in. Yes, dangerous. Okay. Is there any connection between these dreams and reality? Why do people say these things in their sleep? Why did they act out these things in their sleep? Is there any connection to no, what we're actually there, thinking? There are tons of, 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 of studies that have been performed there. And there's actually, except for those people with post-traumatic stress disorder, there seems to be no link between the content of these dreams and reality, not even the personality behind it. That's kind of funny, um, but there's lots of research being done in the past and we do not see any connection. So whatever you have there in your nightmares, forget about it. Forget about it. There's no actual reality connection there. Right. Um, what if, would I be right then in saying that dreams are an essential uh, part of our well-being, that they help us to deal with daily life? Well, the dreams as such, most likely no, but we do not know. But dream sleep as such, yes is dramatically important. The brain there is most active, it's even more active than during during the daytime. So it's work that's being done during, during REM sleep. And that's, uh, first of all, that's learning. And secondly, it's the coordination of metabolic processes. Okay, Dr. Kohn, thank you so much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Thank you.